Hey, what's going on, guys? Dopester930 here, and in this video tutorial, I am going to be showing you guys how to update your Nandex to the latest V3 code using the CK3i. Okay, so for starters, what you are going to want to do is, well, I guess we can go ahead, we'll plug in. You're going to need, uh, first off, you're going to need this special cable right here. It's the CK3i to Nandex update cable. Uh, I picked it up off X consoles for I think like three bucks. I can't I can't say exactly, but it was about three dollar range, so not expensive. And you're gonna go ahead and plug it in into the DVD uh, spot on the CK3i. The other end will go right here on the Nandex. Make sure you have the holes because it goes in one direction. Make sure you have the cable going in the right way so you don't mess damage the pins. So now you have it all hooked up. You're going to go ahead and uh, with your uh, Molex adapter, you're going to go ahead and plug in power supply as well as the USB cable. It's going to plug in right here. Alright, and then next we will uh, go to my PC and I'll show you what to do from there. Alright guys, so we are back and at the PC now. And pretty much I'm going to just be following Uber Geek's guide on how to update the Nandex using the CK3i or CK3 Pro uh, because he actually works at Team Executor and has the only written guide that I have seen so far on how to do so. Um, so I'll just be going through step by step. Um, so I mean, essentially, if you want, I'll put a link to his uh, his uh, sorry his topic. So if you want, you can just read through it yourself. You don't even have to watch my video. But I figured a video um, is still probably easier than reading the guide because I'm gonna be reading the guide and then doing the step on the video. So you're gonna be following exactly what I'm doing. So I think that'll just be easier. Um, so for starters, you're going to need the Nandex, obviously, like I showed, the CK3i or CK3 Pro, the cable I showed you guys, as well as two applications, um, Flash Magic as well as Nand Pro V3. I just downloaded those, so let me go ahead and install Flash Magic. While we're doing that, I'm going to extract NAND Pro to my desktop. Actually, don't want to do that right now. Let's just follow actually the tutorial because I don't. Okay, guys. So now that we have Flash Magic open, um, we are ready to begin. Um, but firstly, you want to make sure that you have the switch set to on on the CK3i or. Uh, CK3 Pro, so that the Nandex has the red light lit up. If you don't see a red light on the Nandex, it is not powered on and it will not work. So make sure the Nandex is getting power. So then pretty much all you want to do is match up um, the stuff. Um, so that's that. Uh, the COM, you're gonna, it's going to be found by going under Control Panel. Uh, it's going to be Hardware and Sound. Same way we install the drivers. <clears throat> And there's that, and mine is going to be COM4. So that's how you find out what COM uh, port yours is in. So that looks good. That looks good. Um, this one, it says to try on 12, so we'll give it a shot on 12, and then we'll change it to 14.75 or 14.745 if it does not work. And you have to locate your ARM v3 hex file, which is in the NAND3, uh, NAND Pro 3 folder. So it's right here. Um, make sure you have erase blocks used by hex file ticked as well as verify after programming and then we're going to go ahead and click program alright it says unable to communicate so let's go ahead and try 14.745 and there you go erasing blocks programming So that do its thing. So yeah, so that's one thing to try. I don't know. Um, let's 
So yeah, um, what you're going to do is, I guess, I don't know why it says to try um, 12 before 14.745, but I guess you could just try it because it says to do it, and if that doesn't work, then go ahead and put in 14.745 like I did, and that worked just fine for me. But as stated, I did try to do this before, and stupid me, it did not put the flip switch on the CK3i, so I'm sitting here kind of puzzled as to what was going on, so make sure that you have the switch set and that you see the green light on the CK3i, um, just to save you some hassle. So, I guess I'll go ahead and let this program here. And um, once it's done, your Nandex will be at the version 3 code. So, that is awesome. And uh, yeah, so I'll just let it finish programming and then I'll end the video. All right, so now you can see uh, right here it says finished, and that was it. Very easy, very automated program. Only options you really um, have to put in that aren't on here is your COM port, which is, as I showed you, very, very easy to find, and the two options you have for right here. Besides that, it, it is very easy to do if you um, uh, don't make any silly mistakes like me by not turning the power switch on. So that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully it was pretty uh, pretty simple and noob friendly as I try to keep all my tutorials for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I will have more more coming soon. Dope Sunner 930 and